the Miami Dolphins have yet to make Mike Jasicki a rich man with a contract extension. That could change but what if it doesn't? Good tight ends in Miami have been hard to find and in reality, Jasicki is probably the best the team has had since Randy McMichael but that doesn't mean he will be around longer than 2021. The Dolphins may not be talking about a deal with him, at least one not publicly known, but they should. There has been some speculation that Miami will play a wait and see how 2021 goes and then approach the deal next offseason. That could potentially drive up Jasicki's contract request but the Dolphins will also have more money and cap space. There has also been speculation that Miami will let him leave and possibly get the compensation draft pick, possibly in the third round. The latter of those two is not good for Miami, they would be better off trading him if that were the case and possibly get a better return. Drafting Hunter Long last April has led many to believe that Jasicki may not be in the team's long-term plan but I don't think that is necessarily true. The Dolphins will enter camp with seven tight ends but we can write of Jibra Blunt and we have also surmised previously that Chris Myurik is a long shot to make the team as well. The Dolphins may not see Jasicki as their long-term answer but if that is the case they must believe that Long can be or the combination of Long and Seathan Carter may be a solution along with Adam Shaheen. It's hard to see the Dolphins put more money in their passing game but they will have to do that if they are to keep Jasicki beyond the 2021 season.